Managing your bonus spin. Either finding it under quick links or within the menu, click on bonus spin. In here, you'll be able to see your full balance for allocated funds versus standard funds. Allocated funds are funds that are used to redeem for orders only. Standard funds could be used towards orders or could be transferred out to a ACH check, pay card, etc. The first thing I'm going to teach you is how to do a one-time transfer. A one-time transfer is to get funds that are currently sitting in the bonus bin out. So you'll want to click on scheduled. You'll want to create a new schedule. You'll want to choose the top item, which is transfer all or a part of what's currently in the bonus bin too. And then you select whether you want it to go the different ways that your company offers to to do it. So I'm going to choose check for this. It's going to be a one-time transfer. I don't need to worry about the date because I'm doing it today and I'm going to click next. And then because I am doing a check, I want to choose whether I send it to my billing, shipping, or a different address. I'm just going to leave it at the address I have on the account. And it's going to be either for a fixed amount or a percentage. So if I wanted to do a percentage, I would do 100%, click outside the box, it auto-populates the percentage, and it would send all of this bonus bin amount out. If I used a fixed amount, I wouldn't leave it at 100, I would change that to the amount that I actually want removed. It would add the dollar sign to it, and then it would remove that amount. Click Save. So I'm going to go ahead and use 100% and then I'm going to click save. Now that item is set up here in the scheduled items. It gives you the scheduled ID number when it was set up to go. It's a one-time thing only and it's set to go to a check at 100% of what's in there currently right now. So that is scheduled. Now if you wanted to schedule all future commissions to go into the bonus bin and then automatically go out to you as say an ACH, you would click create new schedule, you would choose the middle option, not the top or not the bottom, and then you would change it to ACH, you would click next, you would choose your account type, checking or savings, you would enter in your routing number, and I know this is going to be wrong and it's going to throw me an error. And I'm going to do it for 100%. Oh, it went through. And then you click Save. Now you can see that I have got all of my funds that are in there currently now, which is just over the $9,000 set to go as a one time, but any new future commissions that hit will automatically go ACH. That's how you set up your transfers. You can also transfer to a downline. So if you wanted to send funds to an existing distributor, you can do that as well. It is a one time, you leave the date, you find the distributor that you want to send to. I'm going to search for 51 and that person is not found. So what I need to do is find somebody in my downline that I can send it to. We're going to try 29. Okay, so 29 was found. That is Richard Smith and we're going to send that person a uh, a fixed amount because typically it's not a percentage of what's in there. It's a fixed amount, so I'm going to say we're going to send him five dollars. Click out of the box, it'll add the dollar sign, and you click save. Now I am transferring uh, to a distributor five dollars and it went to this ID number. So that's how you do a scheduled transfer to a distributor. The next thing I'm going to teach you how to do is a voucher. So you can create a voucher. So we're going to create a new voucher. And as you do that, you can see the box pops up and it says how much you have available. And then it tells you to enter in a code that you want. Now this does need to be a unique code to you and to the person that you're for providing it for. So this code I'm going to say is voucher test 
one, two, three. And the amount that I'm going to make this voucher is going to be $50. And then I can give this voucher to anyone in my downline or any new perspective to encourage them to enroll. They could get $50 off their first order. So the, this company actually applies a 50 cent fee to all vouchers. So the total that will be coming out of my bonus bin is $50.50 and I click next. And then I confirm and click finalize. It has been done and the voucher has been created and now you click OK. Now that's how you create a voucher. If you wanted to delete a voucher, you just click the little red X out to the side. As long as it hasn't been redeemed, you just click that X and you say, yes, I want to cancel it. And now all of those funds have been returned back to your bonus bin. Now you can redeem a voucher. To redeem a voucher that somebody else has given you, you click on the redeem voucher. Uh, I have the voucher code right here. And then I also need the ID number of the person that created the voucher code. So I'm going to enter that in there and I'm going to click redeem. That voucher was for $50 and it's going to add it to my pay hub. And then it has done that. So it has added the $50 to my pay hub. The other thing that you can do in your bonus bin is go through transaction histories. You can see the transactions that I've done today by just select, leaving it on the selected month that's there, it defaults to the items that are showing for this current month. So I created a voucher, then I deleted a voucher, and then I redeemed a voucher. But you can go back to previous months, choose the date, apply, and you can see that somebody adjusted funds, put in $100, and then they removed $10. So you can see the different types of of things that are happening within your bonus bin. If you wanted to know more about that, you can click on it and read the notes. Distributor missed out on bonus. We're gifting this bonus to her for $100. And that is how to use the bonus bin.